causing problems tonight for people in Evendale. In fact, one business that enjoys the water found too much of it in a place they would prefer not to have it. Nine on your side's Amy Wattis continues our team coverage with that part of the story. Amy? Well, Julie, we first want to start in Sharonville, and I am standing along what was Canal Street. And as you can see, it is covered in water, submerged in water. This car actually behind me submerged in water. That person did make it out okay. We, uh, I called Sharonville police. They're not sure how that person got out, but they did make it to safety. However, they did drive through the submerged water despite a high water sign. In Evendale, Cincinnati Pole and Patio on the 2900 block of Glendale Milford Road is also dealing with some major flooding. And this is not the first time for the store either. A store employee says they have flooding every year. It's because they are situated next to Mill Creek, which gets very high water when there is a lot of rain and it overflows into their lot. When the rain first came down, the water in the parking lot was about two feet high. Inside, water got to about a foot and a half. Fortunately, I'm told that merchandise wasn't damaged because it was all moved up high before the water came in. They hope to reopen on Tuesday at the earliest. Now, he also spotted high water signs all over the area, like here on Exxon Drive across from Cincinnati Pool and Patio. If you see a sign like this, make sure you don't drive through the water. And uh, if you do drive through the water, of course, you could end up like this car right behind me. Now, Sharonville police tell me that uh, a tow truck will come and pull this car out once the water recedes. Amy Wattis, 9 on your side, live from Sharonville. Yeah, they're going to have to wait. Thanks, Amy. Northern Kentucky.